Good morning and welcome to St. Mary's on this Thursday of the third week of Ordinary Time as we celebrate the memorial of St. Thomas Aquinas, priest and doctor of the church, considered the angelic doctor. The song that I sang as we came in, those words were his own words. And so we begin, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Thomas Aquinas outstanding in his zeal for holiness and his study of sacred doctrine, grant us, we pray, that we may understand what he taught and imitate what he accomplished. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed, and prudence was given me. I pleaded, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her to scepter and throne, and deemed riches nothing in comparison with her, nor did I liken any priceless gem to her, because all gold in view of her is a little sand, and before her Silver is to be accounted mire. Beyond health and comeliness, I loved her, and I chose to have her rather than the light, because the splendor of her never yields to sleep. Now God, grant I speak suitably, and value these endowments at their worth, for he is the guide of wisdom, and the director of the wise. For both we and our words are in his hand, as well as all prudence and knowledge of crafts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song will be, Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. How shall a young man be faultless in his way by keeping to your words? Lord, teach me your statutes. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, teach me your statutes. Within my heart I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. Lord, teach me your statutes. In the way of your decrees I rejoice as much as in all riches. Lord, teach me your statutes. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. You have but one Father in heaven, you have but one Master, the Christ. Alleluia. with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord.
Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples. Do not be called rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please join me in the intentions for this Mass, the intentions of Pope Francis, for grace to live in full fellowship with all peoples. In the readings today, as we celebrate this memorial of St. Thomas Aquinas, he who, as one of our doctors of the church, as the angelic doctor, he always wrote about the tensions of faith and reason, but that they were both to work together. It was not faith versus reason. It was not reason versus faith. But as we receive faith in so many ways of how the Holy Spirit leads us, also when we have natural abilities that are given, we all have different gifts, and we are called to use whatever gifts we have that God has given us to be able, if we can, if we are able to give reason for different things throughout all of our experiences, but especially as it re re is part of our faith, we are not to reject it. We all might receive it at different levels. He was given a great revelations throughout his life. And so we're called not to resist those revelations that we are also being opened up to. God's re revelations is in our scripture. We follow that. But we also use other aspects to see God in all the ways. And sometimes it's through the natural world that we're able to allow things to click, to understand. But even the great Saint Thomas Aquinas, there came a time when he stopped writing. When asked why he stopped writing, he says, because everything I seem to have written is straw compared to what has been shown to be before. So as we are the beneficiaries of a revealed faith, we're called to use whatever senses we have to seek the wisdom, the wisdom of God, always seeking in humility, as St. Thomas Aquinas did. And so today, as we celebrate his life, we recognize all the ways, the travel, the journeys that he went on that was not always perfect. Given to his parents at a very early age to the Benedictine monastery, the great Monte Cassino. But as he grew, he grew in different ways. He wanted to become a Dominican, or the preacher order. His mother had him taken by force, where they held him at the family home for over a year. And finally, when he was free, he was able to go and do as God was telling him to do, to allow his knowledge of the world, but also the revelation of God, to be opened. He took through Aristotle all the teachings and showed our faith in a new way, tying it in to what was in the world. And so that gives us pause, allows us to recognize as we have had our faith revealed to us in our scriptures, we also know that through the Holy Spirit we are gifted with many things, each according to however God wants to give it to us. So let us not let any of that go to waste, but in humility we recognize the gifts we receive, we try to, to help grow those in whatever ways we can, but we also know that we are called to always look to Jesus as the Master 
asking for his help and guidance for those things that we cannot understand and we do it in humility and faith asking for future wisdom because we never know what pearls of wisdom are buried in us and that they will come to fruition at a different time we don't know what treasures in the field that we have in our lives but by actively seeking by studying the scriptures by staying close by using our hands and feet to go out in the world and preach Jesus through actions and through words then we'll be doing as St. Thomas asked us to be to be people not of faith versus reason but of a people that are as a people of faith and reason let us stand for our petitions with confidence in our God let us present our prayers with faith and hope for the church that we may faithfully announce the good news both in word and deed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christian unity, that God will heal the wounds and the misunderstanding of the past, and lead all the baptized to offer a more united witness to the gospel, and to offer greater service to our suffering and vulnerable neighbors as we pray for Christian unity throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a deeper appreciation of life, that unborn children, the terminally ill, and those condemned to death be clothed in the same seamless garment of the right to life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our parish community, that the Spirit of God will make us confident in sharing God's message as we use both our faith and our reason and that we invite others to that life and that encounter with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who are sick, that God will ease their pain and speed their recovery, their health. And we pray in a special way for Antioli and for Jane Simmons and for Lois Abrahamson and for all those who have asked us to pray for them. In a special way, we pray for Father Joe Tito, the pastor at St. Nicholas. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, that Christ may welcome them to the eternal banquet of God's reign. And we especially pray for Julio Navarro, the brother of our deacon, Ramon Navarro. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray the prayer that is in the quiet of our heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, Father of mercy and healer of souls, you never cease to invite us into closer relationship to you. Hear our prayers, that in each, each action and each word we might testify to your goodness and to your love. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this wine we offer you. For the vine and the work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of blessed St. Thomas Aquinas be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Thomas Aquinas, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we wait for blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Through Christ, the teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ, the living bread, that on the feast day of blessed St. Thomas Aquinas, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. As we head towards the end of January, just continue to keep you in prayer as we move towards a more opening of society. We ask that everybody continue to be safe. And for those who are able to get in uh, the, the waves of, uh, of the vaccines, I hope you're, uh, that you move forward uh, prudently and receive the vaccinations when they're available to you so that we can keep each other safe as an act of charity and so that we may be together soon. Again, everything is always on God's time. So we say each and every day, Lord, what is your will today? Whatever way we have to live our life this day, we say thanks to God, because there will be many blessings that we can receive throughout this day. So thank you. Just know I miss each and every one of you who are not able to come, but know that I pray for you each and every day. O salutari sostia, que celecantis ostium, bela premut hostilia, tabobu felectilium, unitrino que domino, since epiterna gloria, qui Oh.